everyone welcome back to my channel i am popping on today to share with you another entry into my um fun fold challenge uh giveaway that i am holding um i don't know what number we're on so i'm just gonna check my book because my memory is so bad at the minute um number 13 this will be so um i had this last week um but again it's been um obviously these two holidays and my children had an inset day yesterday so um yeah i wasn't able to come on and do it until today so i share you with share that with you now so i have opened the um i opened the parcel because it was quite a big parcel and i just wanted to see who it was from i haven't opened anything else but we got this here um from the lovely Trisha, who is Honeywell Crafts here on YouTube. I will link her channel in the description box below. So, um, Trisha is lovely. She 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 really is lovely. She comments on loads of my videos. Um, and she's she's a lovely lady, honestly, really really lovely. Um, so she has entered in. So we've got this poster on here. So I haven't opened anything else. So I've just seen this was from Trisha, so I left it. Um, she says, thank you so much for holding your giveaway and challenging me, Trisha. So, I'm more than happy that I've challenged you. I can't wait to see your entry. But this looks like way more than a fun fun card. So, we're going to check this out. So, I don't know whether this is the fun fun card. So, let's have a look. Let me just double check this. Or whether this is just a card. Oh, right, okay. Right, so this isn't her card. So we've got um, a card that she's made here. And this paper looks really familiar. This paper looks really familiar. Where have I seen this paper? I've seen it somewhere and I don't know where. I'm sure I've had it. Um, but anyway, it's got this gorgeous girl on the front that looks as if she's been... I don't know whether she's been stamped or fussy cut. I'm not sure. I can't see. Um, yeah, I've been, it looks like it's been stamped and coloured in. Um, and she's popped her up. And she's really cool. She's got a dream catcher. She's got a cute pink hairband. Pink boots. I love those boots. Um, and it says, don't stop what you love. And then inside, she has just popped a post-it on there and said, Hi, Amy. I have enclosed my card. I've left this blank in case you want to pass it on. So she's kindly gifted me this card as well and the envelope with it too. So I have the envelope. So thank you so much for that, Trisha. I really appreciate that. So I'll leave that there. And then we shall have a look at what we have enclosed. We've got this gorgeous blue tissue paper and this gorgeous blue sparkly washi tape that is lovely i don't have a lot of washi tape if i'm honest but i'm gonna keep this because i really like the blue M mother's favorite color that. and your axe actually even though you said to me yesterday you said mommy i've got a new favorite color it's green i was like oh okay oh 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 ho, 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 ho. wow okay first up we have wow look at this my favorite dude will tell you it's my favorite i love i love orange arrow i love orange chocolate um yeah oh that is like i <laughs> just see how I'm like oh my god i haven't had one of these for ages um funny enough brian buys these for um his lunch for work he buys the caramel ones and i i don't like them but he bought um they substituted us in our shop a mint one so they bought a mint pack and of course my children jack and em jack and em, alicia are really fussy with chocolate they don't do like mint or orangey flavors but emily loves them she's like mommy i really like the mint one so she'd probably really like the orange one too i am being um a little bit more careful at the minute because I, I'm having tests soon. I don't know whether I might have um diabetes and that. But I, I don't think I don't I'm not sure. I, I really don't know, but obviously I've been suffering with my mental health and things. So I'm having like some physical tests done as well, because I'm obviously having like physical effects from it. So I don't know it, but I'm being tested for it. So I will be a bit careful, but I am 
being more careful with my food is and I am still eating chocolate don't get me wrong I work in a sweet shop it's impossible not to but I am only having like little bits at a time so I will not devour this all in one go which is what I would have done before um but yeah so I will sort of keep this and sort of have a couple of squares maybe each night just to just to ease that sweetness you know because I, I can't give up chocolate i'm sorry but i can't i can't give up chocolate chocolate just gonna it's just everything in moderation so yeah thank you very much for that trish that's amazing so we've got oh these are so cute i love these i love making these too um so we've got the aero bar there and we've got one of these um post-its now i've made these on my channel um post-it holders and it's one that look how cute that is and they are so dinky and we've got a velcro strap there and it says notes on the top and this is um flower paper here oh that is lush i love that i love these i love and it's so dinky and you know what i don't have um i've got post-it notes but i do you know what i don't know where i put them so these would be handy to have on my desk because i'm often like writing up measurements and things so yeah lovely thank you for that uh, trish that's lovely gorgeous i really like that and then we've got hello beautiful with some other gorgeous floral paper and this is in like a really nice red colored card and we've got in here so this is like a tissue pack oh awesome thank you look i've seen people make these on youtube and it's got a magnet in there it's got a magnet yeah it feels like it has yeah it's definitely got some sort of closure because it's making that lovely snap sound love that oh that is gorgeous thank you trish you spoiled me thank you very much so we've got that and then we've got this gorgeous notepad and again awesome to have on my desk so we've got this paper mate pen here oh i like these ones are these the ones where you write and then you use the other side to rub it out i think that's right isn't it should we just try it? We might just have to try it. So let's try it. I'm not sure if it is. I hope it is now. I just put hello. And then I think you use this to rub it out. No, nope, that's not working. I'm sure that it's like it does something. It rubs out some sort of pen. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Okay, let me know, pad now. So I'll just take that out there, and that will be really easy to sort of pull out. But it's a covered notepad, so awesome. Again, could really do with one of these on my desk as well. Um, it comes in handy to like write my notes and stuff. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether I'm using that wrong, but I don't, I'm sure, definitely, that eraser definitely rubs something out. I don't know whether it's like maybe a fountain pen or something like that, it rubs out, I don't know. I don't want to keep trying it, just in case I ruin it. Um, so yeah, so we put that over there, so my nice new notebook is not, uh, just put that back in there. I love paper made pens, anyway, I love any sort of pen. Gorgeous. So yeah, that's gorgeous. I love that. It says best wishes on the top. Fab. Fab, fab, fab. And then we've got this really cute. Oh, this is cute. Oh, look at this. It's like a little, like a little suitcase. Oh, how cute is that? And then it says quality cotton. This opens up and we have oh, a little sewing kit. Oh, these are gorgeous. Oh, it's got the needle and the paper clip and buttons. Oh, that's so cute. I love these dinky gifts so much. I think they're so cute. And look at that. It's this gorgeous orange paper card even. And then a pattern paper on the top. And you've got cotton. And it looks like a little box, like a, match, like a suitcase box. It's so cute. Is that a die or did you make that? It was lovely gorgeous i love love dinky 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 things amazing um so this is her challenge entry so we shall move this tissue paper which i will rob because do you know what i um 
I always forget to buy tissue paper, but I'm so grateful when people put tissue paper in their uh, entries because I can just take it. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, so there's some gorgeous mix of my bar of chocolate there. Put them there and that there and my notepad there. Right, so let's have a look at this challenge entry then. So... It's a massive, massive envelope. It's got to be like an 8x8 eight eight envelope, or 6x6. Six six. Might be 6x6. Six six, right. Now, I don't want to do anything. This card is a really, really chunky. Okay. So, here we go. Let's move these out of the way so I've got some room. Pop that there. So, we've got the envelope. Okay. And then we've got this gorgeous mini mouse card. I don't know what it's going to do yet. We'll have a look now. I'm sure it's going to... I'm thinking it might explode out. So I'm thinking I might have to move some of these. Just in case we can't see it. So we've got the bit, the bigger the bow, the better. With this gorgeous belly band that she's made and created. Uh, we've got this gorgeous red cardstock and we've got mini mouse paper here. On the back is, um, oh, I'm assuming that's what maybe where you write your message, is it? Yeah, it could be um, where you write your message on the back. And Laura would love this because it's proper mini mouse. Um, so, yeah, so we shall open this up now then to get that. And I need one of those tissues now because I can feel my nose running. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so we open it up. So it's a gatefold style opening. So we got some gussets here, which helps the card to hold up. And then we've got Minnie Mouse here, fussy cut out. It looks like a die of some sort. I don't know whether she's cut that out or dyed that. That looks like a die. And then it's a concertina, like one of those... Um, Oh, you know what I mean. Um, oh, I can't think what they're called. Like a Z-fold concertina style, I think they are. And that is awesome, right? So you can see it from the top there. I move that a little bit so it comes out like this. And you've got all the decoration here. But if I put it flat, so we look at it flat. So we've got love here. And we've got stitched oval with mini. We've got some mini um, papers here, fussy cut out. We've got some red bows. We've got some more mini. And then we've got this gorgeous spotted um, polka dot paper at the back in black. And then, like I say, if you look in, I'm getting stuck on this washi tape. Um, Looking from this, so if I pull it out, this is what it looks like when you pull it out. So it's got all the decoration in the middle there and in there. Look how, wow, you definitely challenged yourself. This is amazing. I've seen these on YouTube, but I've never seen them in a gatefold. I've seen them like this, like generally like this, but I've never seen them in a gatefold sort of style. And that is just cool how that comes off the back of the card like that. And just makes this gorgeous sort of Z fold um, card, yeah. So that's, that's how it is. I'm trying to give you like different views so you can see it, but it does stand up. So that would stand lovely, like on a. And this bit here as well, it's like on a. She's put it on a hinge so it doesn't like sort of stick to the sides of the card so it actually moves. So that is like a piece by itself as well. So that's really cool. I like that. So it's a bit like a pop-up box as well. And then, yeah, the back bit must be then where you would write your message. So that is awesome. I love that. Look how bouncy it is. Oh, I like that. Look how bouncy that is. That's so cool. I love that. That is awesome. Trisha, you really, really challenged yourself. This is amazing. Honestly, thank you. Wow. Yeah, that is amazing. So I'm going to leave that like that. <coughs> oh, bless me. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh, I could do with one of those tissues now, actually, I think, couldn't we? There we are. Oh, what, what, how, what luck is that? Okay, so. Um, 
where was I before I was sneezing over everything? Um, write you in my book, Trish. So let's write you in my book. Uh, where's my pen gone? I haven't done my pen. So the last one was MJ. She was number 12. So you're number 13. Lucky for some, Trish. Lucky for some. So, uh, Trisha was honey well crafts. And again, I will link her channel down below. She'll probably have a video up of her entry into the challenge. So you can uh, check that out. She's probably waiting for me to um, upload this video first. Um, but yes, I'm sorry to just taken me a while, but I'm really, really great. Thank you so much. That is a wonderful card. Honestly, that is amazing. And all your extra beautiful little gifts. That is so thoughtful as well, because I've been, um, yeah, I've been through the ringer of it. So yeah, so these are lovely, lovely extra little bits. I love it. Thank you so, so much. Honestly, Trish, thank you. Um, again, I will leave a link to her description box, um, her channel in the description box below. Um, please go on over and check her out. She's lovely. Um, so Trish, I shall pop you in as number 13. And then um, I have had a few more emails to say that I've got a few more coming in. Um, so I will come on and upload those as soon as I get them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Take care.